Hello. Hey, Joey. Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> Hello. Good morning. Or good night or good afternoon. Uh, different background today, unlike before. Hello, good morning. This is Eddie from Google Hanguk. Now, hola, today's English. Uh, me trying to say English today. April 27th, Monday, 10.32 a.m. Hi. Do you know BTS? Yes, I know BTS. I want to be a friend with them, but they are very famous. I believe not just in, only in Korea, but also in overall, you know, globally. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, as I already informed you guys, uh, now I am uh, in Dongguk University uh, yeah, uh, last week. <laughs> uh, last week, uh, we invited one of the students from Hanyang University. And before we invited uh, Hanyang University visiting program staff, and today is another special day. Uh, today is another special day to invite Dongguk University staff. So hopefully uh, we can get uh, some information, very critical information uh, from her, Miss Lee. Uh, and uh, you know, you can also ask any question about Dongguk University, especially for today, or the other question about how to live and study in Korea. We try to answer you right away or later, or you can also always email us at info at uh, BTS, are you a fan? Uh, I'm more likely a uh, TWICE fan. I hope you are okay with it. TWICE. I used to be, used to love BT, uh, not BT, uh, Bangtan. No, Bang, not Bangtan. Uh, I forgot the name. Not Shiny. Shina. Shiny. No, Shiny. No, no so. <laughs> Big Bang. I used to love Big Bang a lot. I still do. I still do. But they are in trouble a lot here and there, so I don't know. But now, I'm officially saying I'm a fan of twice. I'm trying to get there, BTS. <laughs> Sorry, yes, Big Bang. Big Bang is always my favorite. I love the song. I love the you know their vibe. Uh, well, somehow you know, Chi <laughs> Jirgon and me and same family name. I'm pretty sure we are like a long relative, long long relative. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, K-pop is like unlimited, like speaking. So let me uh, start by uh, our more like our business. So uh, we are uh, Gogo Hangu. Uh, we have been working for almost now three and a half, four years. We helping people to come to Korea to study Korean and to live in Korea. So this is what we do. Uh, without any uh, service fee, we have done it, um, and I believe we are very good at it. So one of the things that we do is introducing Korean course in Korea, and we partner with many schools in Korea. So one of the schools, recent school is Donggung University. So I'm I'm gonna like invite the staff from here, uh, and then ask her some questions. And of course, like I say, you guys also ask her uh, anytime. So before inviting her. Let me introduce, uh, before I invite her, like uh, let me say, let me give some updates. So uh, now is April 27th. So if you are interested in coming in this summertime, you can still do that. 
Uh, but it's going to be totally up to you because the situation, I believe the globally is not ideal situation to travel. But still, you can come and still you can ask us. In the meantime, if you want to come September or December, this is a perfect time to contact us. Because Korean coast in general have four terms. So March, June, and September and December. So if you want to come to September and December, you are always welcome to ask us at info at gohohangook.com. And of course, we do have a study trip, which is short uh, a course with the Korean course. And uh, there would be some activity that you like and accommodation is included. So if you are also, you know, cannot come like a three months, six months, then there is another program for a short uh, study and have having fun for a calling a study trip course. So we have summer and autumn. Okay. Do you think international travel will be allowed by then? I hope so. I really hope so. One thing that I can tell for sure is that the situation in Korea is very stable. So I believe we had uh, 10 cases, confirmed cases yesterday. Uh, only 10 people overall, glo uh, overall in Korea. So situation in Korea, I believe, is under control, I would say. Of course, the other countries, uh, many countries globally, they are suffering from the virus. So I hope you guys are safe. And of course, I always want to uh, people travel you know, here and there by myself as well, you know, like I said last week or two weeks ago, I plan to I plan to visit Italy with my friend, but it got it got cancelled, uh, unfortunately. So I hope the situation gets better and then travel here and there and have experience studying Korean, having fun, meeting like Korean friends and drinking soju a little bit, not that much. So that's what I want you to experience through our services as well. Oh, let me answer this. Another question, and then I will invite her. If I want to apply for next year, how many months prior to my arrival do I have to contact you so I can have all my papers and everything on time? Of course. Of course, yes. I would love you to contact us whenever you can, basically. And then, you know, of course, there is certain like a, a, a application date for each term. However, the sooner the better. Like you said, exactly, you know, the more time you have, the better, you know, the less percentage of doing this again, that again. So we have done this, done this a lot of time. So you will have like only a couple of, you know, papers to be ready and it's good to go. UK is still on lockdown. So no flight can leave at the, at the moment, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, European country has suffering a lot. I, I believe so. I believe so. You know, even for me, you know, I've uh, listened to news every day. Uh, what's going on? I hope you know the situation gets better. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. Once again, uh, Ludi by KFMN. Yes, you can always ask. Any questions? Anything you want to know? Fancy you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, today, I guess the angle would be a little bit better because I'm using Nathan's cell phone, not mine. Okay, let me go through some of the questions. Oh, shoot. Which level do you do we have afternoon? Uh, which thank for asking. First thing, which level do we have after complete the uh, three months course? Oh, it's gonna be depend on your level. So, based on your first level, uh, you will finish. Of course, you need to study hard, and then you will finish one level. So in Korea, the mo normally the Korean course is level one to six. So each level is considered one term. One term considered like three months. So one level, three months. So if you are good enough, then you will finish in three months, one level. And then you can keep studying up to level six. Of course, some school has like a, uh, like a more advanced courses, but that's like, you know, too much for today.
Okay. Last question. Uh, sorry, I keep answering. There, are, there is a age limit. Yes, there is age limit for the visa because of the visa. So in order to study certain months, certain terms, you need to have visa and visa. You need to have over 18 years old, and you should have a diploma or certificate from the high school. That's minimum. Uh, to every school, pretty much every school. And our study trip, or if you want to study, you know, less than like three minutes, uh, three, not three minutes, three months, sorry, three months, then uh, you can just uh, study without visa. Let's go down. Oh, oh, I'm not familiar with this. Oh, yeah. Joy, you are good enough to come. Hello, Chantele. How things are going? I want to see you once again in Korea. I hope. Okay, so today is special because I'm going to invite one of the staff from Dongdong University. I have been speaking with her a lot of times, so she knows pretty much everything, 99%. Uh, so let me introduce her. Let me invite her, Miss Lee. Can you come here, please? Hello, everybody. Hello. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have always the like, same problem with uh, this like Instagram uh, angle. So we haven't solved it yet. We tried it, but we haven't solved it yet. So we are, we are going to more like a family shoot once again this time. Hello, Miss Lee. What's your Korean full name? My Korean full name is Lee Hae-won. Yes. Lee Hae-won, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just <laughs> curious, out of curiosity, do you have an English name or do you just stick to Miss mm. Lee or Helen Lee? Mostly I use my Korean name mm. because I work at Korea, Korean, but you can call me Ashley, English name. Mm. So how often you use Ashley? <laughs> so Miss Lee would be best best way to reach you, Miss Lee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my coworker don't know my English name. Yeah, I, I <laughs> bet, I bet. It's, it's, it's quite, it's common, but not common because in, in, in the university, most of the coworkers are Korean, mostly, I believe. So that uh, she looks like Ashley. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> good, good. That's good to know. Okay. So today is special because I invite her. Uh, she has been very busy, of course, you know, dealing with many things like a viral situation and helping March students and June coming students and future students as well. And supporting me, always trying to support me, uh, you know, even though I keep bugging her. So I hope uh, this time, uh, you know, have we have more time, more kind of this time. I'm happy to have you. Okay, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So once again, this is Eddie, Mr. Lee from Donggong University. So we are going to introduce more like a program from the Donggong University. And I forgot one thing, but I will do later. So I have a couple of questions, but skip it. So before moving, let me, let me think. Uh, okay, I, we are get back to answer later. Okay, so. You are working at Dongu, so how can you introduce you more? Not just on name, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Um, my name is Sia, and I will be working here for three years since 2018. So I'm in charge of admission and Mr. Advising. So you can talk to me anything. So basically, she's in charge of. If you send any documents like application to us or to her, she will go through everything. Uh, she uh, she is very good at that. So she point out some some of the from my mistakes. So you can trust her. <laughs> so whenever you send the documentation, she will get it. So you have 2018. Okay. So we pretty much the same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind. So let me open my questionnaire. So please introduce yourself, yeah, it's done. How long have you been working at this school? It's yeah. done. So currently, I know this is a situation, but how many students are studying in Donggung University now for Korean course? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Um, it's, or, or in general, in yeah, general. It's just not fair. Normally we have 
more than 10,000 students uh, every year. And it basically, the number of students is various at different times mm -hmm. of the year, actually. But we had um, many students. And the national anthem mix hmm. is good question. Good thing. Good point, yeah. right? <laughs> um, many students concerned on the national anthem mix, but we have the great mix, and mm. uh, we had new students from twenty-seven countries last year, and um, they are concerned that I I know the why students ask ask these questions, but um. Maybe what if their their classmates uh, speak the their mother language in in classroom and impacts their language they're learning. But we have the rules in the classroom and they should follow the rules. And with the rules, uh, along with the class, the national mix is allowed to improve. The language skills, and they are have more common in have have more common in, uh, than the difference from the perspective of studying Korea, uh, for love, because of the love for the language and culture. So we are more concerned on the individual's characteristic than the generalistic, general. Uh, of their country and region, so don't worry about it. Okay, so she answered too many questions. <laughs> yeah, so I let me, let me, uh, let me, let me, like, a, let me uh, summarize it. So you guys have 10,000 yeah. each semester, 10,000, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, over, not just only Korean course, right? But it's over. No, only for the Korean course. 10, like 10,000, man, man, yeah. Ah, sorry, 10. No, no, one thousand. thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thousand, ten thousand is too much. I'm ten thousand. Sorry. It's okay. So no, they have every semester, so every term, one thousand people. Still a lot. I still, yeah. it's still a lot of people. So you are taking all the documents from them. Oh, most. We have three staff. Ah, three staff. Okay, that's yeah. also new. Yeah. Okay, so they have like one thousand people every day studying Korean. So you are gonna be one of them. I hope very soon. And then you guys have like 27 country mixed? 27? 23? Yeah, 27, 27. So 27 different countries, people studying in the same building basically. So you can meet many people. However, what you're saying is that like in classroom, they try to speak like Korean. So they, they can improve Korean a lot. And even teacher, even level one, same as any other school, same, same, pretty much the same. So even though you don't have any like Korean background, uh, all the courses, all the teacher, mostly 99% speak Korean to improve yourself, improve your Korean skills. Anything else that I miss? No. Okay, so those things, what you say. So uh, as you see, we are not native English speakers, so we try hard to help you guys. I can't help you. It's okay, it's okay. That's my job to make you happy and make you, you know, relax. So another question, let's answer it before moving. Would do we be able to like help the Korean student with English and they help us with Korean? That's a good question because they have, Dongguk have the Korean, what's it called? The Korean? The body, program. A body program, okay. Sure. Yeah, we have a body program with a Korean university, Dongguk university students and international students meet and talk uh, they have to spend three hours meeting in a week in a week yeah it is mandatory mm -hmm. yes they can do anything they want to do okay so they the korean students so it's one-on-one -on -one, one korean student and one uh, foreign student two or three uh, two or three so two or three korean students two or three foreign students one, Kore one, uh, one korean, korean student. okay. Sorry. one korean, korean student, student and two or three Foreign students from the Korean language course. So they meet and then they can like speak, they get, they eat, they drink, they have fun. And then of course, while doing those things, of course they can improve their Korean skill as well as you can also teach them. If you're of course English speaking, uh, if you are from English speaking countries, you can always, uh, you know, uh, teach them in English, teach them English. 
Okay. Another question. Why do you believe it's better to study in Daegu rather than in Seoul? No offense. I really want to know. Uh, first thing first, uh, I believe you can go anywhere. <laughs> not just in Daegu, not, not even so. You can go Busan, you can go, you know, Daejeon. There is many schools that offering Korean course. That's totally fine. So it's more like your, your preference. Only differences would be the price of the living or price of the tuition. Because in general, in Seoul, living in Seoul or studying in Seoul is a little bit a little bit expensive than living in Busan or Daegu. So it's more like your preference. In the meantime, now the situation, the viral situation, uh, the, in Daegu has suffered a lot in like a, more than 50 or 60 percent of the people in Korea got infected from the Daegu area. So now is not ideal time, but still. Uh, when you come to June, when you come to September, it would be much, much better. It's not Daegu University, Lar, sorry, no. Uh, so we are in Dongguk University, so Dongguk University in Seoul. Good question. So can you tell me about the location of Dongguk University? Yeah, Dongguk University is located right in the center of <coughs> Seoul. So it is the best place to get to Many attractions such as Dongdaemun, Gyeongdong. DDP? Yeah, DDP. Oh, so Dongdaemun is DDP, sorry. Yeah, Itaewon. It's so close. No problem. Hi. <laughs> and so we are close to the subway, line number three and line number four. So uh, it is very close. You can walk there by five to ten minutes. And the buses are diverse as well. So you can go anywhere you want to go. So one thing that I want to show you before inviting her was the location, you know, because we are in the fancy, you know, seminar area. So people can come here, students can come here study, right? Right. Okay. Your right is very right. <laughs> right. You can go. So let me show you around. Let me look. Okay. So I'm at the, uh, the international uh, student lounge. And then this is the area. You're uh, on YouTube, you can go to Instagram and you can check out the tour that Eddie's giving right now. We're in the International Student Lounge at Dongguk University. And I'll just turn this, there's a windows up there and you can actually see in Seoul Tower out the windows. Oops, let me fix the camera. <laughs> All right, we're back. Yep. We right back once Eddie's done touring around the room. It's quite a large lounge. There's three seminar rooms. There's lounge chairs and study tables and bar tables along the windows. Thank you, Nathan. You're welcome. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, the campus is beautiful. Please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. So one thing that uh, this university is totally different is like Buddhism, uh, you know, based uh, school. So temple is inside of the uh, campus, and maybe next week, in two weeks, there is Buddhism, like a Buddhist oh, uh, yes. birthday yes. ceremony. So. There would be very fancy, like a lanterns, like here and there, and there is like a ceremony, I guess, in the campus. So, if I can, I want to visit here. You know, <laughs> if I can, so that I can show you like how they are doing during those times. So this is the campus and location, as she said, is center of the location. As you can see, the end tower is there. You know, you can just go there. You know, so the location is also very good. Let me go through another questions. Uh, YouTube as well, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave. You don't have to be sorry, Pilar. She's so beauty, I know. Okay. <laughs> is the, uh, Nathan is here. What if I'm from Mexico, but I want to go to study Korean? That's totally fine. We have- oh, Mexico is here. Oh. 
Okay. What's his name or her name? Rufusas. Rufusas. Okay. For us, it's very hard to speak in uh, the Spanish name. But, you know, since she's uh, like, even for us, we have helped many like Mexican students coming to Korea. So, you know, no problem at all. So contact us and we have Spanish staff. Uh, her name is Cristina. So Cristina will help you in Spanish. And our homepage is also in Spanish. And Dongguk's homepage is also in Spanish in our site. So you can check that out. I can wait to come back. I hope you come back. Uh, hello, Joey. Would, would moving to Korea be more easy if I studied in Korea? Mm. Or if you want to study, if you want to study long stay, sorry, if you want to stay long period, yes, because of the visa, simply. Uh, with the D4 visa, uh, which is student visa, you can <clears throat> stay up to two years. And then if you want to come to Dongguk University, study six months, and then they will issue the student visa. And then you can easily extend it. Am I correct? Yes, she approved. So <clears throat> I would uh, recommend if you want to study longer uh, to get the visa uh, through the Dongguk University is easier. Hey, I, am, I have a question and I have an answer. I want to come in three years. Good to be 19 and two of my friends want to come at the same time. Is it possible to be together all this all the year? Of course. Of course, sleep house and school things, yes. So that's very good question. So coming together, totally fine. Bring your family or not really. <laughs> Bring your friends, more <laughs> friends is fine, totally fine. And then one of the, one of the question is from you is the, like where I live, you know, if you are come to Dongguk University. So Dongguk has actually a dormitory, several dormitories. Uh, Namsan, Namsan dormitory and what's the other? Yes, here's the answer. So can you tell me about the dormitory, how would it work and about how much it would be? Okay. Um, the Namsan Hatsa is on campus dormitory. I, if you want, you can live in the campus in dormitory. Uh, you can share the room with Korean university students. Which is very good. Students and have uh, opportunities of meeting different people, not only Korean students, uh, but also the international students. And the every facilities like the parcel room and laundry room, the convenience store, hmm. anything you, you imagine, they are in dormitory. This so, is on the first floor, right? Yeah, first floor mm -hmm. and gym. It is for free for the residents. Yeah. So, uh, it is uh, quite big. Your life easier if you live in dormitory. For sure. I mean, of course, you you know you wanna live like outside of campus. That's totally fine. But if you're not like familiar with the location, if you haven't been like in Korea before, or even like uh, in other like nations, then she uh, the Dongguk has option to live in dormitory. And for example, if you come with like three the other friends, then like uh, you guys can stay in the same floor or same building, uh, in the meantime, you can meet uh, with a Korean, your roommate. So that's like more benefits, you know? And then you guys can, can go out together, having fun, good? So how much is it? So, good question. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. let's say per month, how much is it? Per month, mm, about 35. So about uh, 300 US uh, dollar. I will say, 35 man per month? Okay. 35만 원, 40만 원. 35만 원, 40만 원. So I would say in US dollar, it's going to be late 290 or 300. I would say 300 in the US. Then living in, you know, so and 300 dollars per month is like a legit, you know, it's good, good deal. And there's all the facility on the same building. I'm Mexico too, I'm Mexican too. I want, I went to SK and love the city that I, that's why I want to return. That's good to know. Thank you for liking Korea. I know, ha <laughs> ha my name is Ellison. Oh, good. Thank you, hello. Another question, what are the schedule? That's a good question. What are the schedule? So like I said, there would be like a three, no, sorry, four terms in 
four terms yeah. in a uh, year. So March, June, and September, and December. And she brought this one. So they have like each curriculum, so what to do from the beginning until the end. So let me see, there is a, hmm, let me see, there is like a basic courses and quiz, uh, and there's holiday, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Quiz and midterm. Oh, cultural activity. So can you tell me about the one cultural activity, what they do normally and what uh, they do like last time? The cultural activities, they might go to the quite Korean place mm -hmm. like the museum or book release. Mm. And and they can enjoy the enjoy the the kimchi, how to make the kimchi, oh. the traditional mm. the food and the watch the movie or the musical. It is depend on the our schedule, mm. but normally do one activities each month, each semester. So, uh, it so they go with the teacher or yeah, of oh, course, okay. of course, teacher will guide you. And <coughs> without the one cultural activities, there are many um, class activities during the term, like the do games, make mm. videos. Um, and organize the flea market, mm. and also they do presentation in the advanced level, and in the final level, they are senior meeting. Uh, it is it is for sharing the university experience. The, the seniors is graduated from our institute and study in our university, so wow. they can share everything with the students. Mm. So. So okay. not just only uh, cultural activities, but also there is chance to meet like seniors from the Korean universe, a uh, Korean language course, they finish Korean language course, and then uh, studying at Dongguk University, like bachelor or doctor mm -hmm. degrees, and they have opportunity yeah, to meet and undergraduate. undergraduate. That's good. And if they do like this. Oh, poems. poems. Oh my God, this is... A little bit too much. They did really, really, <laughs> they did really good. So they write like this. Oh my god! I never, I don't know, I never did this by myself. And another book is there. You're using the book oh, yeah. to hold the ball. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So there would be a, a, a cultural activi activities and more likely extra activities. Okay, Alisa, uh, I might be moving to Korea. Is there anything I should know? Uh, <clears throat> many things. <laughs> <laughs> many things you should know, but I want you to uh, put, I want you to have a goal on your goal. What do you want to accomplish in Korea? So if you want to, you know, come to Korea for fun, or if you want to come to Korea to improve your Korean skill, then we can help you. And then we would uh, recommend Dongung University. Very nice uh, stuff over here. Are we be are we able to get jobs during our stay? So I have answer. So can you actually answer the question? Oh yeah. Regulation for the language school students. They should do this stay in Korea for more than six months and have to get the topic letter two. And the attendance rate is important as well, right? 90% of the attendance rate. Then, if the condition is perfect, we give the permission and the students go to immigration to register for the job. Yeah. <clears throat> so, of course, you can get a job, but there's criteria to uh, get a job. So, but school, like she says, she there's certain things from the school. So she will help you go through all the process as well. As well. But like I said, I want you to have a goal on your goal. So if you want to <clears throat> speak like a Korean as a native speaker, then you should study hard. 
in the meantime, if you want to improve your career in Korea, then you guys, you, you also need to, you know, you know, have a, like a certain like a visa or certain like a job that you want to do. But in the meantime, you know, Korean skill would be very beneficial for you to have your own career or for your like a you know, hobby or many ways. So studying Korean would be also like a, one of the basic. <clears throat> oh, okay. I see. Thank you for the answer. Can we leave a come when we want during the day for the free time and stuff? Mm, I don't understand quite one hundred percent, but during the stay during the study, uh, you know, if you have an ALC, a Wegovin Nokjung, then you are able to visit the other countries. Uh, of course, you should come back for the study, but there's a certain way of coming goes. So I I hope I answer you. Otherwise, uh, email us at info at gogohangook.com so that we can help you. Uh, Another question, do you have to know Korea to visit and be able to understand or do most Koreans know some English? Oh, that's a good question. Of course, knowing the Korean would be much beneficial, uh, much things you can do. But in the meantime, if you are stay in the like a city, like a Seoul, uh, Daegu or Busan, then many people, I would say like young generation, they can you know, support you, uh, help you in English. Otherwise, they are very nice. You know, unless you go, you know, nighttime and after like drinking soju, then they are mostly 99% is like a very kind. So even though they cannot speak English, they will willing to help you, I would say. Another good question from the, from me <laughs> to her is, is going to be, so Dunggung University has many like uh, characteristics. One of the things is extra class from the school. So can you tell me about what the extra class you know, not just a regular class because they do have extra class based on your level or based on something from you. So can you tell them? Okay. Um, you have many kinds of classes for free, extra classes. The alphabet class, the pronunciation class, grammar class, and any other classes. Uh, they are provided for all students. and. The alphabet class is quite small, about, about 10 students, and the pronunciation and the grammar classes a little bigger than the alphabet classes, about 40 or 50. It depends on the application, but we run those classes all the free for all students mm -hmm. after classes, so join the classes if you want to study more. So you guys offering some other like supplement classes? Uh, for the Beijing, for Korean alphabet, learning mm -hmm. Korean alphabet, and vocabulary, which is very important, vocabulary, mm -hmm. and also grammar. So if you want to study more, uh, you can ask her anytime, and then you guys can study more if you want. So that's one of the things that uh, any other uh, no schools like offering, because, you know, even though, you know, if you study Korean, you will study like a very a lot, a very hard, like four hours per day minimum, and then there would be extra class from the Dongguk University. So Dongguk University is very, you know, uh, good service, having, having a good service for the education. Let me go through another questions. <clears throat> like I want to know, I might be moving to Korea because I got into K-pop. So uh, is there anything I have to know? I mean, that's good. That's good start. And many start, even me, uh, start from K-pop. Just kidding, sorry. But uh, that's interest. Interest is there. So if you want to like a song or like a, a sing like them, or if you want to understand what they are saying, then the best way, best uh, motivation for you to improve your Korean skills. So other than that, I want you to research a lot, uh, you know, Google a lot. And of course, you know, uh, Visit our uh, our uh, homepage, especially Dongguk University homepage, so that you will have more uh, idea. Otherwise, you can also email us at info at oh, Yes. You can download our textbook, chapter one and MP3. If you want to check our textbook, please visit our website hmm. and you can ask him. Yes. Uh, please uh, ask me or visit their uh, homepage. After this, I'm going to. Uh, share the link, uh, link on YouTube. I think this best way. 
uh, link on YouTube, or you can email us so that we can tell you like where to begin. The other question, how much money do we believe we need to survive per month? Do we have to pay for books and something else? Yes, you should pay books and something else. So something else, tuition, can you tell me the tuition? How much it would be per term? Yeah. The tuition is 1,670,000 one per semester. But the insurance and the tax books, they are included mm. in the fees. So uh, if you pay the fee, you don't need to pay nothing for the materials or anything else. So don't worry about it. So it's about 1400 US dollar, pretty much a little bit less, but 1400 US dollar, unlike any other school, is included in insurance and textbook. So you don't have to pay another like textbook fee. That's, that's amazing. So for that, <clears throat> it's covering the tuition, basically study. And except the study, like a living cost, is totally up to you where to live, so 1400 US dollar for three months. 300 dollar, about 300 dollar for a dormitory for one month. So sum up, it's gonna be about 228, about 28,000, uh, no, sorry, 2800 US dollar per three months thing. And plus you can like eat something, shopping and other things totally up to you. So three months, six months three months i would say like three thousand us dollar ish of course the more the better or uh, kind of minimum three thousand us dollar would be three months staying uh of course it's not including the flight in uh, flight ticket fee so there are certain things you can sum up in cafeteria, that it is quite cheap mm. <laughs> if you eat the food in university if you go out and have some food uh, is my double. Mm. Yeah. So I actually ate with her before when I filmed the Yudong University uh, video. Uh, you know, the food is amazing with like a low, uh, less cost. So if you want to like save money, you can use the cafeteria in the campus. You know, you, you don't have to go out and then in the campus, you can have a, a cafeteria and they have like several cafeteria in campuses. Uh, different like type of menu, different type of like quality, different type of, you know, food, a lot of food. Okay. Hi, I'm from Italy. Hello. I want to go there, but I, my flight got canceled. Sorry. I will be there next time. <laughs> I hope, guys, that you are okay. We are totally okay, I hope. I'm from Mexico also. Uh, if I apply at Dongung University, to, uh, uh, do I have to uh, present on English language exam level or some kind of certification? <laughs> Very if, simple. If you don't have any basic Korean, you can come and study Korean. Of course, like I said, <clears throat> in order to apply for visa, which is more than two terms, you should uh, have like 18 years old and high school uh, certificate. Other than that, uh, we can go through everything. But in general, uh, like, uh, overall, we don't need English uh, exam scores. There are art college in Busan I want to go to. That's good. That's good. Good start. You know. Hey, Madison. Sorry, I, I, I think I got delayed a lot of questions. I want to go to college in Busan for art. That's good. You can go. I have my boyfriend who is Korean who helped me to learn Korean. That's good. Very good. Because we are planning to get me. Oh. Good, good. Sorry, uh, if I wasn't clear, I was saying that when we come to study during one year, if we sleep in the school, the dormitory, I guess, are we free for the hours and, st oh, after class. Yes, can you answer this actually? So after class, they are free? Yeah, it's totally free. So, uh, like I say, it's normally four hours study in, in a day. So after four hours, the other 20 hours is totally up to you. Of course, if you are staying in dormitory, then there is some kind of curfew system, but that's, you know, that's okay, so you know. So 
other than that, uh, the other uh, after four hours of studying, everything is free. Of course, I wanted to study a little bit, like one hour day, per day. Will we be judged by Korean people if we mistake our casual and polite? Uh, that's very good question and very hard to answer. However, uh, I would say since you are foreign people, uh, we do understand. Uh, and then it's, to, it's more like how you accept it, how you accept the reaction, you know. Uh, keep positive, you know, keep studying, that's experience. And there is always like bad people, good people. So it's more likely how you accept it. But I would say most of the Koreans are kind. Mm -hmm. I hope so. <laughs> Edit the K-pop, I, uh, I don't think so. I do love, I do like a uh, Big Bang. That's what I can tell. So how is the mandatory 14 day? Oh, that's a good question. So how is the mandatory 14 day self quarantine gonna affect uh, our program this year? So uh, one thing that I can tell is that uh, it's changing pretty much every week, every time. So for what I'm saying is that it could be different from what you really come. But for now, currently, every foreign people are uh, pretty much quarantined for 14 days in their accommodation or from the government uh, facilities. So after 14 days, if you don't, if you don't have any like uh, you know things like symptoms, then you are free to go. But of course, uh, try not to go out. That's like a very important things. So very hard for uh, hard to say for me to now because you, when you come would be different information, different criteria. But I want you to be a little bit like careful when you travel. Uh, do research or uh, or ask us. Oh, let me go to okay. There's another uh, four questions. Let me go to YouTube. Let me get the YouTube uh, question. I have three years of professional schools. In, is is it possible to attend the university? Let me go back. Hi, I have three years of pro professional schools. Is it possible to attend the university? So for us, we are helping Korean courses. So uh, doesn't matter as long as you have high school minimum, like a minimum high school certificate, you can come and study Korean. Let me get other uh, Dong University. We covered the location. Oh, so library. Do, can the student use a library in the campus or from the Dongguan University? Uh, yeah, of course we can use the library. We give students the ID card and they can enter the library and can borrow the books. And don't forget to return the book because <laughs> we have to pay of course. for that. <laughs> Some oh. students. Uh, after finishing the classes, they forgot to return the books and oh just my God. leave. So that's not good. Yeah, just don't look at this point. Yeah. You can go to library. Yeah. I mean, not just in the library, but also like I show this like room. You can use this room, you know, pretty much freely. In the meantime, if you need to borrow books, then returning is of course mandatory. Yeah, we have a lot of library classes in Ladder Six. So hmm. if you go to oh. Ladder Six, you pretty much know about the, our library and how to use the computer systems in library. So it is quite good. Mm -hmm. So the other question is, what would the curfew be? So from the dormitory, I would say, uh, do you know the curfew time from the dormitory? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but in general, I would say it's uh, one a in between, like a uh, midnight or one a.m. Yeah. Or it opens five a.m. or six a.m. But of course, if you want to go out, hang out like a uh, total night, uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. But then like, you should like uh, write something on the like uh, of office dormitory office, and you are free. But anyway, the, there would be curfew that you need to follow. And of course, if you not, if you don't like it, or if you're more like a night person, then uh, the dormitory wouldn't be ideal. Thank you for this, very informative. I know, hey? I will continue soon. I hope you guys can come to Dongu. Hi, do you guys offer like a full semester program for people that want to learn Korean? That's a good question. 
you have it? Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I will say so. Yes, we are not talking about the program. So, um, if you are foreigners, you can apply for our programs and if you want to have any question, you just contact him and ask him how to apply for the, our programs. He can handle everything. Yes, and then I will ask her everything. <laughs> Whenever you ask something, I will ask her everything. So this is, uh, that's why I want to invite her this like a live streaming. So we are pretty much like 11.20, so about 10 minutes left. So let me get some of the questions from you guys. And then, uh, yeah, because Instagram will uh, kick us off uh, after one hour. Or you can come to our YouTube channel always uh, to see later. And I hope you guys have a uh, informative, like you said, informative uh, live streaming for this with this. And then, of course, you can visit the Dunguk University homepage and our homepage to get to know more about the Korean course. So to give you a little bit more information, like I said, uh, the Korean course, uh, you can pretty much level six study level from one to six, level one to six, and then each level would take like uh, three months. So a uh, full semester could be six months, one year. So if you get to level six, then there would be pretty much like an end. And then the visa will be supported accordingly. So you can study, uh, I would say like technically, you can study Korean up to two years. And then you can, you know, uh, improve your like, career in Korea or if uh, or like a studying like an undergraduate or doctorate in Korea. That's totally fine. Let me go, let me get the answer, uh, questions from the YouTube. Does studying one year of Korean at the Korean language school really prepare you for university level work? Are there jobs on campus for Korean? Like this, uh, three or four questions. Oh, some of them we already covered. So let me get the one question. Does studying one year of Korean at the Korean, uni Korean language school really pre prepare for your university level work. So in general, if you finish in general, if you finish level four, you are able to, it considered you are able to, you know, attend the Korean course from the undergraduate. Of course, different school has different like things, but that's like in general. So one year, technically, you know, one, two, three, four, level four, three months, six months, nine months, one year. So it could cover, but you need to study hard and then you need to keep studying. So I hope I answer your questions. The facility is two thousand eight hundred US dollar. Uh, some maybe that expensive. Well, what I know is that like uh, for two weeks staying in a government facility would be fourteen hundred. Of course, you might see uh, different fancier, fancier facility maybe. Are we allowed to bring? our own laptops, of course, we want you to bring your laptops. And then, of course, the school has many things, uh, many like a facility, many services, but having your own laptop would be much better. Annyeong from Mexico, Annyeong. Uh, is there option for food? So like she said, Dongguk has lots of cafeteria, so you can you know, pick whatever you want. And then if you wanna go out, that's totally fine. Let me go through some questions because we are out of our time. Okay. So last time, last thing. We covered pretty much everything. So at last, can you tell me why people, why you guys need to study in Dongu? Benefits? Yeah. Oh, any benefit? <laughs> <laughs> any benefit? As I mentioned, the store center's location, school facilities, and teachers and curriculum. The uh, benefits are for students, but the one of the best, co most confident is the curriculum and teachers. Uh, it is a quite important factor so when deciding which schools you want to choose. So um, our curriculum 
and our textbook uh, was researched and developed by ourselves. So we Facebook, thought, right? yeah, we yeah. thought uh, we completed it the level one to level six in 20, 2012. And last year we published all the levels. So you can use our textbook and materials or the for, for free. And the curriculum is organized so that students can learn Korean um, and through the various practice in the task activities. But it is based on the classes uh, according to four classes a day. So if you follow us, your Korean skill will improve. We guarantee. Very good. Yeah, guaranteed. guaranteed. So, you know, one of the good things about the university is that they have their own, you know, yeah. textbook. So, point. yeah. So, which is very important because is 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 it is telling you guys yeah. the curriculum is like already like a yeah. set up from the level one to six. So that's something they have like confident in yeah. terms of the studying. And I I've, I've met like many people from the Dongum University when I had a interview. They are very happy with the Korean like classes. Or, or uh, of course the teachers and the staff as well. So I wouldn't uh, I would uh, recommend you to study at Dongguk University, and then you know to know more. You know you you guys have a different story. You guys have different background, different question of course. Then feel free to ask us at info at gogohanguk.com. And then this time I want you to have like a more idea, more concept of what about the uh, what a Dongguk University is. So I think I forgot the, some of the questions here. Miss Lee, Miss Lee slash Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So some the questions over here we already covered, I would say. Let me take one last question and then we can close it. So can I stay at any other place like a Goshi one or I have to stay mandatory on the campus dorm? Uh, that's a good question because some schools uh, have mandatory to stay like a three months or six months first uh, at dormitory, but Dongguk doesn't have those things. So that's totally up to you. you know, that's totally up to your budget. So if you want to come to Dongguk's dorm, you can, you know, uh, stay there, or you know, if you want to uh, stay in Goshiyong or the other place, that's totally fine. But for us, Gogo Hangu, we can also help you to get Goshion or the other, you know, shared house, homestay, the other things. So please contact us to know more. Hello. Okay, I guess that's pretty much for today. Uh, thank you for joining. Once again, this Monday morning, Eddie, Miss Lee, Ashley, Dash Ashley is here. And sorry once again for the like uh, angle for the Instagram. We will, we will figure it out. We will figure it out. You know, it's better than before, but not ideal. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys have a great time, great day. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Thank you for joining. I didn't say I Okay. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Have a good night. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye, Madison. Bye, Miss Lee. <laughs> bye, bye. Good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Last time, let me go there one and then. Oh, Twenty-five seconds remaining. So, from the Instagram, perfect ending. You are so dark and so dark.
Bye-bye. See you next week. We are preparing something else for the May. So I will guys, I will let you know guys. Annyeong. <웃음> 잘하셨습니다. 아유, 정말 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <웃음> 잘하시는데요? 네, 아니요.